When working on the Mobox installation video yesterday, I came across an error after executing the one command they list on the GitHub page. But even after I had Termux, Termux X11, and Input Bridge installed, I was met with this storage permission denied error that just continued to scroll down the screen. It had seemed that Termex was trying to install something, but I was never given the storage permission request. Even after I went into the app info page for Termux and granted it the proper storage permission, that error message still scrolled on the screen. So after doing some research, I was able to figure out a fix to this problem. I assumed it had something to do with the new Android 14 permission system, but let me know in the comment section below if you're getting this same error on Android 13 or Android 12 as well. To fix the storage permission denied error when trying to install Mobox, I had to close out that Termux session and then start a new one up. Then we go in and type out this command. Or you can paste it, as I'll have this in the video description below for ease of access. Once that's all typed out, we just need to press enter on the keyboard. And if it goes smoothly, then you will just see it go back to another prompt without any error messages or without any success messages. What we're doing here is we're using the chmod command, which allows us to change the permissions of a file or a directory. And we're using it to change the, the permission of the am.apk file so that it can be executed properly. Now, once this command has been executed, we can now take that big Mobox emulator install command listed on the GitHub page and try to execute it again. Only this time it will complete without giving that storage permission error since we fixed the permission issue that it was having. I hope this is able to help anyone who has had trouble installing the Mobox PC emulator on an Android smartphone or tablet. I would like to begin creating some videos about this, possibly showing the type of performance that you can get on some classic PC games using both mid-range and flagship level specs. So if you're curious about how a specific game performs, then use the comment section below and I'll try to work on those specific games. And if you're curious about where to find some great games on Android, then please check out a project of mine, playstorefinder.com. This is a website that I have been working on for a couple of years now with the goal of highlighting the best Android apps and games available in the Google Play Store. It even uses a nice filter system that allows you to exclude elements like in-app purchases or ads, while also letting you find great games that have controller support or that do not require an internet connection. Please check out the website playstorefinder.com and let me know what you think down in the comments section below.